The central bank of a country is the only institution allowed to create physical currency. In other words, coins and paper money. In today's society, however, debt is also money. The dollar you pay with when using your credit card has just as much purchasing power as a $1 bill. Therefore, as explained in the Fractional Reserve Banking video, commercial banks create money as well by issuing loans. And since most of the money in existence is not physical, commercial banks actually create more money than central banks. Most countries have one central bank and multiple commercial banks. The central bank has a monopoly on physical money creation. They can create as much physical currency as they deem necessary. Commercial banks, however, cannot do that. Some people have to deposit money and others have to request loans. Otherwise, the money creation mechanism of a commercial bank stops working. Therefore, maintaining stability is a central bank's main goal and it can do that by one, managing interest rates, lowering them to stimulate economic activity, or increasing them if it thinks the economy is overheating. Two, telling banks which rules they need to follow. For example, how much money they need to keep as reserves. Three, acting as a lender of last resort and buying assets that nobody else wants during times of turbulence. For example, giving banks quick cash by buying the illiquid mortgage-backed securities they were stuck with after the Great Recession. A central bank can have other goals as well, such as full employment, but its core responsibilities revolve around maintaining the stability of a country's financial system.